friends, it's Carolyn Zuck here with Seasick Stitch, and today is Saturday, April 29th, 2023. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm so glad that you are here spending part of your day or your evening with me. We just got done with a, a Zoom call, a stitchy Zoom call through Magazine Monthly Challenge Facebook group, which was so much fun. We had a great turnout. Um, it was so great to see everybody. We talked about frogging a lot and um, Dina uh, Half Stitch Cross Stitch in her latest floss tube talked about a huge frogging that she had to do. So we talked about a lot about frogging and frogs and then we started talking about the actual animal frogs. So it was great to see everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you were able to, we usually hold them on, usually, <laughs> on the last Saturday of the month. Um, if you want to join us, you can join the Magazine Monthly Challenge Facebook group. We would love to have you. It's always linked down in the description box below. Um, this week was so busy. <laughs> These past two weeks have been nonstop meetings. Just my days from start to finish are just back-to-back -back meetings. Um, but classes are officially over for my main job, which I'm so happy about. Um, so our last day of class was this past Thursday. We do have finals yet, but uh, both of my finals are um, on the same day. And they're on Monday, so they're the first day of finals for the week. So I kind of get them both out of the way. And my students are just doing presentations. They've already done their exam. Uh, so they're just doing presentations, so it's an easy day for me. So I just sit there and take notes and uh, as they're doing their presentations. So after Monday, I will be able to work from home until mid-August, which I am thrilled about. I This semester has just really worn me out. Um, it's been good, like all in good, um, good things, but it's just been a lot. It's just been very, very busy. And on Thursday, we also had another, like a pretty big meeting. Um, and I was in charge of this meeting and it was very nerve wracking. Um, they happen twice a year and because I'm stepping in for my director, um, this year, since she's out on sabbatical, I had to do it. So I did one in October and the second one was on Thursday. And so we made it through, it went fine, I guess. Um, but it's over. So <laughs> that's the good thing. I'm just like, I could sleep for three weeks right now. That's how I'm feeling. Um, what else? Um, last weekend was 24 hours across stitch. My goal is 18 hours and I was able to complete it just barely. It was pretty much like 18 hours, even maybe two extra minutes or something, but it was pretty much 18 hours. So that was really fun. And I'm excited to show you some of the, some of the things that I was able to get done during the 24 hours. Um, Thank you all. I'm not through all the comments yet from last week's video, but thank you all for your ideas on Summer Quakers. Oh, I forgot to pull it, but Summer Quakers, I was asking your thoughts on the alphabet, and a lot of you said just do the alphabet. Some of you said, you know, you can replace it with some other motifs to make it the same height as the other uh, Quakers from Rosewood Manor. Um, and then, I'm sorry, I didn't write down, I can't remember who said it, but somebody said, you know, spring has all the names of the flowers and, um, you know, in terms of words and none of the others do that. And so the alphabet is just the same. And I thought that was a really interesting point. And someone else said, I did it with the alphabet and it doesn't look strange compared to the other one. So this is kind of what I wanted to hear, honestly, because I do want them all the same height in case someday I want to display them all together on the same wall, like not necessarily put them up seasonally because I might run out of storage space. My house here is lovely, but there is not a lot of extra storage. Um, so it may get to the point where I display them all on the wall all year long together. So I want them to be all the same size. So thank you so much for your feedback. I think now I am going to stitch the alphabet. That is, that's where I'm at today. So I appreciate your, your feedback. Um, I have a finish. It, it's a small, but it's a big, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I finished stained glass window by Tangled Threads and Things. So are you ready? I finished it last night. Here it is. Look at that. Um, 
it's completely done. Oh, I was going to show you the before the back stitching picture. Well, I'll put the before back stitch picture here. And then here it is. Act surprised. Act surprised at how much back stitching makes a difference. <laughs> um, so here it is. It is done. It took a very long time. In fact, it took me 74 hours in total to complete this. Um, yeah, that last little bit I had took a lot longer than anticipated. Um, but that's okay. It is now done. Um, this is my year of whips. Number three is done. I forgot to take a picture, so I will take a picture to add it. Here's my picture. Um, for year of whips. So this is my third project out of, I think I have 10 or 12. Um, year of whip projects. We can check in my handy dandy planner. Um, I have 12. So I have three done. So you can see Lovebirds, Stained Glass Windows, the newest, and Winter Birds was on there. So this one, I started this December 3rd, 2021, and I finished it April 28th, 2023. And like I said, it took me 74 hours in total to, um, to complete. It is small, but it is full coverage. It is from the April 2021 one issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And this will be a gift when I get it framed. Um, so I am very excited. This is the page that, that I was working from that fell out for cross stitching. Um, it is by Tangled Threads and Things. It is 106 stitches high and 80 stitches wide. So it is not very big. There's a lot of color changes in this piece. Um, and it is full coverage. Even though it's small, it is full coverage and there's a lot of back stitching. The back stitching is not just what you can obviously see here. Um, the entire cross is back stitched. The entire every every little square you see in here is back stitched in two threads. The inside um, around the border is back stitched and the outside around the border is back stitched. And because it really does make a difference. It really does give it that stained glass look by doing that back stitching. So I did complete all of that back stitching as well. So there we are. I am so happy to have that done. My goal was to have it finished in April and we met that goal. Now that meant that I um, wasn't able to get everything done in April that I wanted to, but that's okay. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so in addition to that, I did get a few other things worked on anyway. Um, for 24 hours of cross stitch, um, what I want to do this year is so there are four of them throughout the year. They are hosted by Jen Lee. Um, and I want to work on my haids. So in January, I worked on Cardinal Cottage for the 24 hours of cross stitch. So I tried to get nine hours in over 24 hours of cross stitch. This month, and I think in July I'll work on um, Cat Alphabet. And then in the, which October maybe is the next one, I will pull out Cardinal Cottage again and give that nine hours. So I worked on Cat Alphabet. Um, this is um, artwork by Irina Garmashova and it is design, um, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I am right here in this first one. I worked, I'm very close to, like I wanna work on this first block before going into the second block, um, which is a little bit of crossover right in the colors, but I think I am at the edge of that first block. I am stitching, there's cat hair on my cat alphabet. I am stitching this on 18 count Ada. And let me show you where I got to. So, this is where we're at now on cat alphabet. This is what it's looking like. So let me, so I was able to, I did a lot of fill in over here and I'm about over at the edge where the next block will start. Um, so I did a lot of this purple and all this blue fill in and you could start to see, there's another little mouse right here and you can start to see the outline of that mouse right there. Um, so this will come out again in July because I'm going to use this for um, Full Coverage Fanatics um, runs a 
challenge Tour de France where you stitch the number of kilometers that they that the bikers are are bicycling. Um, so and you can see there's a cat, whoops, right in here too, curled up and asleep. So that is what I will be working on. I think for July, I will pull this down, get this little mousy done, and then you know, depending how much time, start on that cat in the middle. Um, so let me show you again. So I'm way over here. You see this little mouse and then this little sleeping tabby cat that looks a lot like my Simon. So that was really, really fun to get to that edge, more or less, you know, like I said, because the end of this block and the beginning of this block are very similar in colors. You know, I might've gone a little bit over, but that's okay. Like, you know, I just kind of picked a spot and kind of stopped. Um, so, um, I got a total of 441 stitches since last time. I think I showed this last week and I honestly can't remember. So much has happened in the past week. Um, I am now at 2.69% done on that uh, piece. And that is, that is the full coverage that I am the furthest along on, I, I believe. Um, next up, I worked on spring montage for my seasonal Sunday. This is um, artwork by Janet Stever, and it is chartered by Pain Free Crafts. This is what it will look like when it's done. Somebody posted so in Sunshine Stitchers, their finished piece uh, and it was gorgeous. So I'm just way up here, way, way, way up here. Um, so, and this I am stitching on a 32 count uh, Lugana, lots of cat hair. Uh, and this is where I got to. So I got 363 stitches in and I am at 1.22% done on this. So I did fill in this flower. It's not completely done, but I did fill in that a little bit and then kind of worked down here a little bit. Um, so that's where we're at. So I'd like to continue working down and, you know, kind of get this section done so then I can move over, but that's where we're at. I really enjoy working on this and it is nice that I'm starting to see some flowers and that type of thing. So I work on this uh, April, May, and June before I'm going to switch to the summer montage. So that is spring montage. And then last but not least, I pulled out, once I finished stained glass window, I pulled out early bird bouquets. And these are in the April 2019 Cross Stitcher Magazine. It is issue number 342. It looks like this on the cover. And let me show you. I am doing, there are three charts. I'm doing all three. Early bird bouquets. These are designed by Felicity Hall. I have finished this one, not fully finished, but I finished all the stitching and back stitching. I am working on this one and I haven't started this one yet, but I'm going to work on that. So that is what it looks like. And I just got a little bit done kind of last night, I don't know, like an hour, maybe an hour and a half after I finished stained glass window. So this is where I'm at. So what I did you're going to think I'm ridiculous. I am ridiculous. I know this. So in here, um, I stitched it in white and it's supposed to be B5200. I just misread the chart because the chart lists um, three color conversions. So there's DMC is the first one, Anchor, and then Madeira. Um, and B5200 in Madeira is white. So I think I was reading the white, the Madeira column. I know it doesn't matter, but in my head, I was like, it's not that much. So I actually pulled it out, the white, and replaced it with B5200. That might be the most ridiculous thing you've ever, in, in cross stitch ever, that I did that, but I did that. So I did that, and so we are correct on the color, and then I worked more on bringing this cup down, and then you can see there's some white stitches I wanted to put in the white stitches because I didn't want the blue. Usually when I have white kind of intermixed with other colors, I like to do the lightest color first and then go move to darker so that it doesn't pull through um, 
the, the darker color gets mixed up in the white. So not a whole lot of progress on this, but I'll be working on this more now that stained glass window is done. So that is what I worked on this week uh, for cross stitch. So that was that was really fun. Um, for haul, I just have a little bit. Hade had a sale. Um, I will have to insert the pictures, and I didn't even write down the name or the artist. So I will insert pictures here and maybe try to do a voiceover. I've never done voiceover before. I'll try to do a voiceover and explain a little bit about them. Two charts from the Hade sale. The sale is now over. It ended on Thursday, I believe. Um, but uh, she has sales quite often. And so you can, um, if you go to her Facebook page and just follow her, she'll announce when there are sales. So the first one I got is kind of unlike me, um, but in some ways it's very like me. So it's called Boots and Flowers. It is artwork by Lars Stewart. And okay, the bright colors, very me. The flowers, very me. Um, and then there's cowboy boots and a purple cowboy hat. Um, I just love this. I don't know. It's huge. 675 by 482. Um, 90 colors. So I just got the regular color. Um, but I think it's really, really beautiful. Um, so I got this and I love it. Um, I have no idea when I'm going to start it, but I have it at least. And I just, I love the bright colors. And then the other one I got, which is kind of the opposite. This is called my pink garden and it's a little more subtle. It's artwork by Amy Stewart, who we love. Um, and I just loved the, well, I love bright colors, but I also love the subtle colors. I just love the flowers and the butterflies. Um, so I think this is beautiful. This is a very 733 stitches high um, and it's 400 stitches wide. So this is another really big one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also just regular colors, 90 colors. So that is what I got from. Okay, so now I'm going to um, pause. I'm going to put these uh, whips away and I'm going to pull out my plans for May. Um, and we can talk about what I'm going to work on in May since May will be here on Monday. So I'll be right back in just All a right, second. I am back. It took me a lot longer than I expected, honestly. I was looking for a piece that I can't find, which is very troubling. I'm like looking around like it's going to be right here. Anyway, I'll get to that. So for May, um, in the Magazine Monthly Challenge, we have a monthly theme and we have a monthly acrostic. Um, our theme for this month is Arctic. Um, our, our theme for the year is places. So every theme and a theme will be uh, a place. So the theme is Arctic. And for in our acrostic, I'll just tell you the acrostic is Borealis. <laughs> oh, it's just kind of a long one. It's B-O-R-E-A-L-I-S. So for my theme, I'm going to be pulling out miniature marvels because Arctic. And I'll show you. This is from the World of Cross Stitching. This is issue 315, 315. And I started this last year. And I really, really love it. It is designed by Jenny Vandeweel. And oops, it is this cute little winter scene. So I'll be working on this uh, for the, uh, the theme. And then in the acrostic, I'll be working. So the theme, I have three hours down for the theme. Um, the L in Borealis for the lake, because there's a lake in there. And then and the I in Borealis, because the lake is actually ice, because they're ice skating. Um, so that is what I will be working on for our theme. And let me show you where I'm at. This is just on, I think it's a 28 count dove gray that I had in my stash. And this is where I'm at. So the school is done. And then I'm actually working back to the left um, to fill that in. Um, but it'll be fun. I love this piece. You feel like um, there, I did have to take out a tree there um, or a house. I think it was part of the house. But um, so if you see that, it, don't worry, it'll, it'll go back to how it's supposed to be. Um, so I re had to, I put the house too far up, so I had to move it down and I started on the house. Um, but yeah, this is fun because you're, it's a lot of like mini motifs, which I really like that style. 
but also you feel like you're making really good progress. So that is where I'm at. So that will be fun to pull that out in May. Okay, so next um, for, I will be pulling out early bird bouquets, which you just saw. So that will be the B in Borealis, so three hours. It will also be the e, B for bird or bouquet. It'll also be the E in Borealis for early, because it's called early bird bouquets, for three hours. And that's it. Um, and then this is um, going to be my 25-7 piece. Um, and... It will also be a piece that I'm taking. So I'm going to Stitching in the Wild Garon's Retreat in mid-May. And I will also, before the retreat, I'll be going to visit my family um, because it will be my niece's graduation. Uh, so I'll be gone for about 10 days in total. So in mid-May, there'll be a couple weeks where we won't get videos. Um, <clears throat> but StitchCon 2022... Um, Candy had the great idea to um, finish this before the next next year, before 2023 StitchCon, which I am not going to just because it's so close to Garan and both of those places are so far away from me and they just get really expensive. But I like I like her idea of finishing this, like having a timeline and trying to finish this before the next StitchCon. So this is from last year. This is designed by Sue Hillis and I think it's really, really darling. So I am going to also try to finish it. This is on my year of whips as well. And this is where I'm at. We haven't seen it since last year. So 310 is done. I have the scroll frames started. I'm going to put my initials in there. Um, but this is where we're at. And I think I'm just stitching this on a piece of, it feels like lamb's wool. Yeah, I think it's lamb's wool linen. That's what it feels like. Something I had in my stash. So anyway. That's that. So that will be fun to pull out and work on and, and hopefully get done. I mean, I have quite a bit to do yet, but we'll get her done. So a goal of mine in May is to finish that piece or get it close to finish because it is on my year of whips, like I said. Um, and that will be the O in Borealis, O for Ohio, because StitchCon is in Ohio and Keepsakes is in Ohio. And that's it for the acrostic. Next up will be Summer Quakers by Rosewood Manor. So this is what I was talking about earlier, the alphabet at the bottom here. None of the others have an alphabet, so I was considering chopping that off and just being done. But now I think I'm actually going to keep it. Um, so it will take a little bit longer to finish this. I was hoping to finish this in the first half of the year, but I don't know. I didn't get much time to work on it in April. Um, so I don't, it's going to be, it's going to be a big push. I am on this huge motif. I probably have three pages left to go, um, I'm guessing. But there's a lot of color changes in this. So, I mean, they're beautiful, but they, um, you know, they take a lot of work. So we'll see between May and June. Um, I think I have a little more time in June because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not traveling anywhere. So I can kind of focus in on this and maybe still get it done in June. I don't know. That's a big push. But this on my acrostic will be R for Summer Quakers for Rosewood Manor and the S for Summer Quakers. So I'm aiming for 12 hours total in the month of May for that piece. Um, the piece I cannot find, and I don't know where or why, is my 1544 band sampler that my friend Andrea bought for me. And we started in February. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my allergies are really um, bothering me today. Um, a, it's going to be the A in Borealis for Andrea, my friend. I would like to get three hours done on that piece. Um, then, so that's, that's kind of my overall plans for Magazine Monthly Challenge. Um, then... For Stitching in the Wild, what am I taking with me for Stitching in the Wild? Well, I'm going to take the 1544 band sampler because that is a smaller piece. I'm looking around like it's just going to appear. Um, that's a smaller piece, and I want to stitch it. Andrea will be there, and so I thought it would be fun to stitch it with her. Um, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to have a new start, um, and I am taking it to start it there. 
Now where is that? How am I missing things that literally were just here? Here it is. Okay, so my new start is I'm going to take it uh, to Stitching in the Wild, but it is also for Mental Health May, which is uh, something that Candy from the 614 Stitcher posted. And I'll be working on Trust the Universe by the Snowflower Diaries. I think this came, this came out in 2022. I think it was an uh, uh, expo release, I think. But I thought that was just really pretty with, like, I like the sentiment, Trust the Universe, and her hair with the stars and moon and all that. Um, I ordered the floss from Garan, because Garan carries DMC now. So that's cool. So it calls for a mix of uh, Gentle Arts and DMC. There is a DMC conversion for everything. But I wanted, I, I like the variegation for her hair and that type of thing. So I ordered it from Garan along with the DMC, which is super fun. And I haven't picked out fabric yet, but it's not a huge piece. It's 140 by 78. So I know I have something here that will work for this. So um, I'll be taking that with me and starting it um, since Candy will be there. And she's the one who came up with Mental Health May. And they have a hashtag. It's hashtag Mental Health Care Sal. So if you want to join, it's anything that makes you stitch on anything that makes you happy, that is inspiring for you. Candy likes to stitch on um, pieces that have, you know, sayings or words. Um, I chose this one because I thought that was a really nice saying, um, especially because I work with college students who are a little, um, you know, especially this time of year when they're graduating and they're kind of freaking out about real world. Um, I'm like, just have to, sometimes you just have to, you can plan all you want, but sometimes you have to trust the universe. So I'll be working on that. So that will be fun to start it there. Um, I will be taking StitchCon 2022 because that I think might be an okay one to stitch at the retreat. Um, I will be taking Tudor B by the Blue Flower, which I started last year. This was going to be my small exchange for StitchCon, but I started way too late and it's a lot more than... I gave it credit for. Um, so this is where I'm at. So I do have the border all done and I have these flowers, but you know, I still have a lot to do. So this will be fun. I think I've, this is also on my year of whips and I want to, I mean, there's no reason why I can't get it done. And I think this is my focus piece for the month of June, but I'm going to take it and try to get some work done on it in at the retreat. Now, the next piece, um, so I don't know, okay, so on our Zoom call that we just had, Candy kind of talked me into taking this uh, piece, uh, Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches. It says, oh my darling, it's true, beautiful things have dents and scratches too. I started this a long while ago and I have not touched it probably in a couple of years, so it's time. It is time. So I'm going to take this, so this is where I'm at, not very far at all. Um, Candy kind of inspired me to bring it and then we can stitch on it together. She's, I think going to be starting it. So that's where I'm at. So I'll probably take that piece. Um, the other piece, and I'm not going to take all, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not going to take six pieces. Um, so the one I was thinking of taking was Hearts Like Christmas by Erica Michaels. Um, I don't know. I was iffy on this one to begin with because it's not great retreat stitching. I mean, it could be, um, this is where I'm at and I really, really, really want to finish this for, um, by July or in July and I'm maybe halfway done. So I thought about taking this too. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to stitch on six things at a three day retreat. So if anything stays home, it'll be the hearth side Christmas will stay home. Um, so I will be taking probably just five pieces um, to the Garon retreat. And one of those will be um, a new start. The Trust the Universe new start. Okay. That's everything I'm going to be working on in May. Uh, so that will be really fun. I'm looking forward to some new and different pieces. Um, this week. So what am I going to work on this week? So we have... 
what, today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, uh, for the rest of April. So I will be finishing up tonight. I think I'm going to work on early bird bouquets, just give it a good solid full chunk of time to work on. Um, so I will do that. Early bird bouquets is also on my year of whips, but I said it will only be considered done when I get all three pieces done. So not like the individual pieces. So I want to get those done because I'm only on the second one. And then tomorrow, of course, I'll work on spring montage for um, seasonal Sunday, which will be fun. And then starting in May. So again, May, um, which starts on Monday, my focus piece, my 25-7 piece, which is a, a group started by um, Melanie Watkins. I heard there was another group also called 25-7. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but Melanie hosts a group that's open to any, everyone called Cross Stitch 25-7. Um, and so my 25, seven piece, which is work on at 25 minutes a day or 25 stitches a day, especially now that I'm going to be working from home, I'll have a little more time. Um, but stitch con 2022 will be my 25, seven piece. Um, so I'll work on that starting on Monday. Um, and then this week I will work on summer Quakers and then Tudor B. So I'm going to give summer Quakers four days. And then I'm going to work on Tudor B, give that a good chunk of time and try to move that forward towards a finish as well. So those are my plans. And I think this week is, um, like I said, finals on Monday and a whole bunch of grading <laughs> and some meetings, of course, but mostly grading and finals. So that's everything I have. That was a little bit shorter of a video than I expected, but that's okay. Um, you don't need too much of me. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope your allergies are okay. Um, and I will see you all next Saturday. Bye.